everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm going to be bringing you a non-card project today, and we're going to create a recipe flipbook. This is such an easy project. I know this might look a little complicated, but trust me, you are going to find out how simple this project is to make, and you're going to want to make some too by the time you're done watching this video. So. In today's project, I'm going to be using the adorable Made with Love collection from Doodlebug. It is adorable, literally. And I'm going to be using this collection to make a recipe flipbook. Now, if you don't have the Made with Love collection, you can also make this flipbook with other collections that you might have or other products. So keep an open mind, watch the video, and I think you're going to want to make one of these too. So, we're going to start by taking a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and we're going to start chopping it down. Seven inches is the first cut that I made. This is going to be the width of my particular recipe book. Next, I'm going to cut it again at seven and three quarters. Now for something bigger like this, I do like to use my Fiskars trimmer to go ahead and use as a scoring board. So we're going to score first at two and then you're going to want to go ahead and score at the other end of the paper so that there's a half inch edge. So you have two score lines. The middle section of your panel here is going to be five and a quarter by seven. Once all the scoring is complete, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and fold over on all those score lines. Make sure you reinforce them with a bone folder. That's really helpful. And we're gonna make two of these. Once you have both of them complete, made exactly the same way, add some adhesive onto one side of that two inch panel. It's gonna be on the inside portion. And then you're going to sandwich the other two inch portion of the other panel on top of that adhesive. Now you've created this panel that's going to end up folding together to create basically a tenth. On the top half inch score line area, you're going to go ahead and add some adhesive onto one side and then sandwich the other side on top of that adhesive. So now the two half inch panels are attached and the two two inch panels are attached, creating a folded piece that looks similar to a tent. So this is the piece that's going to create our recipe flipbook. This is the base. We're going to need to add some punch areas to this particular piece so that the recipe cards can flip over top of the tent card to the back side. I've already taken one of the recipe cards from the Made with Love collection from Doodlebug and I punched holes where I wanted to have them on each of the recipe cards. Then I've lined this up, centered up onto my tent base, and I'm going to use those holes as a guide for where I need to put my punch holes on the base itself. And I'm punching through both the front and the back layers. I used 130 pound cardstock from Simon's Stamp to make my base, but you could also do 120 or whatever cardstock you have on hand. So now we need the element that's going to create our flip effect. And super simple, it is a binder ring. So I'm using the Tim Holtz binder rings here. I have them linked in the video description below or on the blog. And these are going to go through the two holes on our base. And then the flip cards will go on to one side of the ring so that you can then flip them across the rings to the back side of our base. How simple is that, right? We are literally almost done. So the next part is decorating it. And you could leave the card stock the way it is, Maybe you could use some colored cardstock, whatever you want. I'm gonna cover mine with some pattern paper from the Made with Love Doodlebug collection. This is the 12 by 12 sheets. I also wanna make sure I have the punch lines on this particular piece as well. So I'll just make sure that I punch through that paper in the same areas where the holes are created on my base. Easy peasy. All right, so next up is our recipe cards. And like I said, these recipe cards are from the Made with Love collection. These are super cute, already pre-printed and has all the areas laid out for you to go ahead and fill them out with your recipes. So you could leave them as is. I decided I wanted to decorate mine. So what I did was I took one of the cards, the one I was already using as a template for cutting into my base, I'm using that same piece to be a template to cut into each of the recipe cards that I'm going to include in my flip book. So this is just giving me a good guide for where I need to put my punch holes so that way everything's lined up pretty evenly across my entire flip book. Now you could leave these cards as is. They're already pre-decorated. But I decided I wanted to step mine up a bit because I love the odds and ends and the chit chat die cuts 
that are from this Made With Love collection. So I'm gonna pull out lots of those little pieces and flip through them and find ones that I wanna to combine to create some more embellishment for my recipe cards. This makes them a little bit more customized. So I liked doing the added step of adding some extra die cuts to them and covering over the ones that are already pre-printed on the cards. But again, you could skip this step if you don't wanna go through this process. So all of the cards I decorated differently with each of the different die cuts. It makes them all super customized. And for any of the die cuts that I have hanging off the edge of the cards, I'll just trim them down with my scissors. Super simple. There's also fun embellishments part of this Made With Love collection, including these sprinkles. I mean, like literally, these look good enough to eat. So I'm gonna decorate with these sprinkles on some of my cards. I also even use some of the little hearts from the heart-shaped sprinkles. These are super cute too, and I liked being able to add those onto some of my die cut embellishments. So off camera, I decorated a whole bunch of recipe cards, and now I'm ready to add a cover to my stack. So I pulled out one of the pattern papers from the Made With Love collection, and I'm using the six by six pad for this. I pulled out also a couple of the chit chat and odds and ends die cuts. I picked out a couple that I really liked. I thought this particular image with the utensils and the banner were super cute, but I didn't want the sentiment you bake me happy because this is a recipe book. So I thought it'd be fun to add the sentiment recipe, which is from the chit chat collection on top of the banner. So it's just a great way to be able to customize by playing around with the different die cuts. And of course, like everywhere else, I've been adding the punch holes. I use that same card as a template to be able to know exactly where I needed my holes. And literally, we're almost done. I decorated, of course, with some more sprinkles and little shape hearts and stuff, really fun. And then my plan is that this will go on top of the whole entire stack of recipe cards that I've decorated. Now, this would be a great gift for someone that's what I plan on doing with it. I'm gonna leave it blank and I'm gonna give it to a really, really dear friend of mine. She loves Doodlebug and I love Doodlebug too. And I thought this would be fun to give to her as a gift because I think she'll be able to enjoy using this in her kitchen too. So the cover is gonna go right over top of our stack. You can see the rings hold everything in place and you can easily flip through this. I also decided that these cute little seals were really adorable and I thought they'd be fun to put onto the back. I used the Bake With Love as a little seal on the back of my cute little flip book. Now, by the time you get to the end of all the recipes, I thought it'd be fun to have something underneath all that. So there's a little surprise underneath by adding a few more die cuts. Just a cute little embellishment. Again, I'm going over the top with this. I'm decorating it like crazy. You don't have to go this elaborate, but I think it's adorable if you do. So have fun with it. Make it customized to what you like, the colors you love. I chose teal for my particular base, but you could have used whatever colors you want. You could have used colored cardstock. Have fun with it. Make a recipe flip book for either your kitchen or a friend's. So I'm gonna flip through everything here so you can see all the cute little cards and the fun decorations that I've included. So many fun ways to be able to use these die cuts and pieces. You can see I even added a few sentiments here and there. I love that love you chocolate sentiment. That is just so cute. And it's just a fun project that you can then use either in your kitchen or as a gift for somebody else like I plan on doing. So my friend can go ahead and fill in all of her favorite recipes on this book and I think it'll be a really great addition to our kitchen. So I hope that you are inspired by today's project, that you will try this flipbook technique because this is easy. This is not a hard project. This is simple, something you can do on a weekend Maybe get your kids involved. You can put together some of your favorite recipes and have them as something for everyday use in the kitchen. Whatever you end up doing with this idea, I hope it inspires you to play not only with this technique, but also the new Doodle Bug Made With Love collection. So thank you so much for stopping by and visiting. I will be back very soon with additional inspiration for you. But until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful and happy day. Bye.